All right, Shalom, Shalom. We, we are the real Hebrew Israelites. Come out week in, week out. In season, out of season, and wake up the lost tribes of the children of Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. You must return back to Heavenly Father, repent from your wicked ways, come back to the Lord, and serve Him in truth and sincerity, man. Right? But repent, keep God's commandments, believe in the death, burial, resurrection, you understand? Uh, kill, your, kill the old man, but the old man must die. That's right. The new man be born again. That's right. And that's the gospel. That's the idea to preach. To preach that the Lord has died for your sins, died for the Israelite sins. He has rose again. You understand? So that you can return back to the Father. Through His blood, be made clean, holy, and white. You understand? By and, and get the opportunity to serve the Lord. You believe in the Bible, brother? It's the book of First Peter, chapter one, in verse twenty-three. Bring it up. Being born again. So, Lord said, "Be born again." Right? You was born the first time. Now you gotta be born all over. Not of corruptible seed. Not of like a man's seed, like your father's seed. But of incorruptible, by the word of God. By what? By the, the word, word of God. God. Born again by the word of God. Right? The word of God is gonna make you new, make you a new man. The man you are currently is, is not fit. You know, it's not uh when you go to like you put out a job of a they say that you're not uh qualified. The man that you are currently may not be qualified to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have to kill this man and become a new man, and that new man is a man of Christ. Bring it out. Hear, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the, the way, and when thou liest down. And when thou risest up, and thou shalt and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as a as front frontlets between thine eyes. Uh, okay, so look, the three most powerful. Oh, listen, 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 Chapter 4 and verse 6. You know, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom. Verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me. Right, these are the commandments of God. That ye should do so in the land whither 
ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do this. Do the commandment. For this is your wisdom and under and your understanding in the sight of the nations. So your wisdom and understanding is to keep God's commandments. Once you keep God's commandments, that's how you get wisdom. Wisdom comes through the keeping of the commandments. You can't have wisdom if you're not keeping God's commandments. If you keep God's commandments, people are saying you are the same as that as this world. That's why What's the honest world? What are you talking about? Um, not even just relax. They feel like once that happens, not only from keeping the commandments, how do you get blessed? It's a process. People, when they are you are you blessed? Right now, I, I Why aren't you so blessed? What makes you not blessed? Because That's I still okay. have things in my past that are struggling. So I'm on my full side of myself. What do you got to do to get blessed? I have to realize. Realize what? If I want to be blessed, how do I get blessed? You have to realize every emotional fact, not even in this way, You're but your past life too. Your past life, you were before. Well, you were reincarnated before. Those, the those Lord said there's no remembrance of the former days. It's right, it's right. right. It's it. Because they all rely with you. Right. You don't have to listen to it. It's, it's the book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 14. Bring it out. Blessed are they that blessed are they that do his commandments. That do his commandments. That they might have right to the tree of life. It may no. enter it through the gates into the city. But this is about the, this is about the kingdom of heaven, brother. Yes. That's okay, what I'm so saying. what I'm saying is blessed, a blessed man is a man that's keeping God's commandments. Read, read it again one more time. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. So you're not keeping a commandment, that's what stops you from being blessed. Not because you are not listen, not because of some emotion, you know, things we're talking about. Blessed men are, are men that keep God's commandments. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter and through the gates into the city. The, king, the tree of life is the, is the kingdom of heaven. That's the gate yes, that they enter in. Yes. Once you keep God's commandments, then when the, when the king, Lord establishes the kingdom of heaven, you will be able to enter. If you're not keeping his commandments, you won't enter into the kingdom of heaven. A lot of people, not blessed. yes, going through the good part first is the first thing to go unlock through the good part. Can you do that for me? Um, the I I used to be on my G W L um G W L P O Yeah, G A C I used to put that back. The quick topic tunnels have been one of the easiest and um hardest ways of transformation. And then those are things that you talk and go. No, 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 no. We don't need to show one because that's not in the Bible. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Listen to this. It's the book of Psalms, chapter Don't one. Don't worry about how it's going, really, brother. It's tough. Bring it out. The book of Psalms, chapter one, and verse number one. Bring it out. You need to know this. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So blessed man don't walk in the counsel of ungodly. Right? Nor standeth in the way of sinners. He's not among sinners. Right? Nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. He's keeping the God's commandments, the laws of God. You understand? That's what he found delight in. You get blessed when you keep God's commandments. You get wisdom when you keep God's commandments. All that you possibly uh, extra tunnels and spirit work talking about, they don't exist. What really exists is the Lord. No, 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 no. Yeah, they, yeah. They, don't, they don't exist. You've you never been there. there. You've never been there. I, 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 Maybe on drugs you've been there, yeah. but not, through, not with the spirit. You might not understand, it's called the tree of shadows. I've well, you don't understand, but you see that the understanding is to keep the commandments. Yeah, they didn't speak Lilith in the book of Eve. You know that Eve wasn't the first wife Lilith was? Can you prove that? Go ahead and look it up. We ask you, 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 you to prove it. It's not in the Bible. So where are you getting that from? Where are you getting that from? Where are you getting that from? That's a fact. Where are you getting this quote unquote fact from? You could do whatever you want to look it up. Yeah, first that's wrong. Lilith is the first wife. Who was her husband? Adam. Lilith didn't want to be a service in there. Lilith was known for the Book of 1 Thessalonians. The 
book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 21. Prove all things. Why don't you prove all things, man? Hold fast that which is good. So you got to prove all things. When you say that, Elizabeth, whoever you're talking about, the first wife of Adam, you got to prove that. You can't tell us to prove it. Why would we prove it? We don't believe it. You prove it. Where are you, you getting, have to do where are you getting it from? from? I've studied books. Studied well, that's books, the problem right there. Books, books, beyond the Bible uh, itself. You can't be studying many books, so. brother. Lilith is the you first can't study person many books. was even almost believed Don't to you know give the, the apple to Adam and Eve. First himself. off, there's no actual apple in the Bible. There's no, show me in the Bible where it says that Adam ate an apple. It's okay. That's not in there. Just a little bit higher. Show me, I'll give you a, you a thousand dollars. Right. So many, so somebody many things need to have aren't in the Bible. Yeah. I still trust the Bible. Some things are right in the Bible. Some things are You just wrong. said that somebody, so he, the that Adam, he didn't have yes or no. No, Lilith is the one who was behind most of them. And she Lilith gave Adam an apple? first wife of Adam. And she gave him the apple? I believe because he wanted to get the knowledge of the garden of But what scriptures, what scriptures say that there was Listen, what's good to say Adam never ate an apple? I'm still trying to find out. All I know is so that... Why, so why do you believe Adam, that Lilith Adam, gave him an no, apple if no, you don't Adam, even know if he ate an apple? Adam is Lilith's first husband. First wife? He, right? he, no, he was a wife. Adam was a husband. Okay, Lilith, what did Lilith give Adam? Lilith, I believe, was known to give um, Adam the apple. And Lilith you don't is, even know if he ate the apple, right? Lilith was born from the same soil from Adam. Listen, to, actually me. listen, listen to what Adam. I'm saying. Listen you to got to study Lilith. Listen to, yeah. Hold on, listen to what I'm asking, brother. You told me that you don't even think and you know that the Bible doesn't teach that Adam ever ate the apple. So why would you believe that some woman gave him an apple if you don't believe that an apple was, ever even, was never eaten? No, I believe there's an apple eating. Okay, I just don't know why do you believe if Lilith was the one I believe. Wait, why do, you believe, do why do you believe that Adam was eating if it's not written in the Bible? Not everything has to be written in the Bible. True. Lilith and Adam are I'm saying, but Adam, true. listen, this, this, um, everything in the Bible has to be true, right? Okay, fine. But the your topic comes from the Bible. Listen, listen, listen. But Adam, you said you believe he ate an apple. I'm asking you, why do you believe that? Because you don't give me because of this. So what do makes you believe that? God told him not to eat the apple. God said that. What Adam, made what makes you think that? Where did you get that from? That God told him not to eat the apple. Might not have been this one, but there's lots more, brother. Lots more. In what Bible? I've read multiple Bibles. You know what God told him not to eat the apple. Not in there. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 3 and verse 21. Bring it out. Seek not out things that are too hard for thee. This is too hard for you, brother. Even spilling quaffling is too hard for you, brother. Right, keep it. Uh, neither, neither search the things that are above thy strength. It's, a, it's above you right now, brother. You think, hey, first you think, first you think that Adam ate, didn't eat an apple, now you think, hey. It's not spilling me, brother. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna make you, uh, your brain hurt. First you think Adam didn't eat an apple, then you say that he did eat an apple. And you don't know where you get that from. So you just all over the place, but you it's hard. Fine. It's okay. We're okay. Bro, what's your saying? I think it's like verse 19. It's the book of Acts, chapter 2, and verse 19. Yeah. Yeah. It's the book of Acts, chapter 19, and verse 19. No. Many of them also, which use curious arts, brought their books together. These are all the books you got. You need to bring all your books together. You need to, you need to bring them out here. Right. We want you to go home. Trust me. We want you to go get them books. If, if this will, listen, them. listen, this is what we want you to do. We want you to gather all your books. Oh, I how many you books you got? How many books you got? I can show you. How, how many books you got? It's online. Oh, you can look it for yourself. Do you have it? I, I did have it. Yes. How many books do you have? I have uh, How many do you currently books. have? Right. How do you know it's taken? Oh, your books are taken? Yeah. All crazy. That's a, that's a no, 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 Thank God for that. Okay. Thank God yeah. that the book was taken. The Lord uh -huh. sent the angel to take them damn books. Right. 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 That's right. And it's not that It's the book of Acts, chapter 19, verse 19. Bring it out. Many of them also, which use curious arts, 
brought their books together. Bring all the books together. Read. And burned them serious. before all men. And do what? And burn them before all men. We need to have it to them books. And burn them before all men. You need to burn all them damn books. Brother. That's right. And they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. They had $50,000 worth of books and they said to hell with them books. We gonna light all them books on fire. These are the books that you need to learn in Daniel 9 and 1. Brother, we already been searching. Get no, Acts 17 11. We're going to show you what we search. We're going to show you what we search. Get Acts 17 11. We're not searching. We're not searching unprofitable books. We don't need them names. We got these books. This is the book of Acts, chapter 17, and verse number 11. Bring it out. These were more noble than No, them. stay here and listen to the word of God, brother. Stay and listen to the word of God Come with your family. Come, back. Come, back. Come and listen to the word of God with your family. Bring it up. Uh, these were more noble than those in Thessalonica. Come and hear the word of God with your family. In that they received the word with all readiness of mind. Right. And searched the scriptures daily. And do what? And searched the scriptures daily. And do what? And searched the scriptures daily. Brother, come back and search the scriptures with your brothers. Come back, brother. The word ain't man. His brain is uh, what he says. His man is man function. He man function. Brain. Why are you talking? Yeah, you good. good. It's the book of Daniel, chapter nine and verse one. In the first year of Darius, the son of Azarias, of the seed of the Medes, which was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans. In the first year of his reign, I Daniel understood by books. He got understand by books. But not books of whatever he probably was talking about. The books of Jeremiah, the books of Ezekiel, right? The books of, uh, of, of Genesis, the books of Moses. These is how you understand by these books, right? See what it is? The number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet. Right, that's what he's talking about, Jeremiah. So you understand a prophecy through the books, man. But not bugged out, bugged out, bugged out right. books. Right. Whatever he told me to spell didn't even come up. Right. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to be able to spill it. That's why I asked him. Q-W? I don't know. Once I heard Q-W-L, I knew it wasn't in <laughs> You know, no such thing as Q-W-L, man. You know? Bunch of fouls. These books. Hey, hey what, uh, they, they told uh, Paul, much study have made you mad. You don't want to do all that study. Yeah. Sometimes studying can have you go astray. Yeah. Yeah. You try to get deeper and deeper and deeper. And next thing you know, you know, the, the meanings don't mean what they supposed to be meaning because right. it's all gibberish and it's all made up. You don't even yeah. Yep. That's what makes you you know rally well, your brain. Yeah, you're going through all these books. That's <laughs> you know you're in different dimensions. Yeah. You know, and they ain't adding up, right? Yeah. And, you know, and somebody steal your books. The Lord has somebody steal your books. Man. Lord said so you get bugged out with all the books, and he said you might go take them damn books. Steal your books and you run into Israelite. Right. It's telling us to do the research. Right. <laughs> wow. Right. It's the word of God. Word of God. Holy Bible. Come on, let us then. We got the Quran. Come talk the Quran with us. Come back. Mm. Muslim turn down the Quran. You might tell that video. Muslim rejects the Quran. That's great. <laughs> Excuse. Rejects the Quran, turns his back from it, and walks away. Right. Him saying he was Muslim, what was that supposed to do though? Yeah. Change up right. Excuse. Yeah. You know. Just yeah. not to come over and talk to us. Yeah. What does that mean? We are right. like 18 That's another book that you got burned to, man. The damn Quran? Start a fire with this. You gotta start a fire with this. Fire, fire, fire starter. Yeah, it's a fire starter. And then you kind of add extra books in there. This, it's, it's, you know, you can have other books, but really, it's only one book you really need. And if a book don't, if a book don't uh, coincide with the Bible, then there's no need to have it. Or even entertain it. They got a lot of weird books out here today, too. They got LGBTQ books. They put them books in the schools now. L damn, LGBT Bible. I gotta look that up. Yeah. A damn LGBT Bible. I'm gonna lose That's my crazy. mind if I see like a clean Bible or something. Oh. I seen something like that. Clean Bible. Clean Bible. Wow. Who's putting these, who's authorizing this stuff? Like, who's giving the go? 
It said a Queen James bike. You can get off Amazon. Uh, you can get off Amazon for $27. Wow. You want the Queen James bike. I'm about to buy that to see what's in that book. That's crazy. So you say, you gotta, we, we be aware of these books, man. That's crazy. A lot of foolishness out here. A lot of false doctrine. Queen James. Queen James. Wow. Yeah, this is crazy. What could possibly be the context? I think it changed, uh, yeah. it changed the scripture about being gay to... I think messing with like kids, like other kids, instead of wow. homosexuality. That's Holy. one thing I guess. Bunch of homosexuals, bunch of homosexual bodies. Wait, it's probably even the church too. But anyway, go to it. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 18, and verse number 4. Bring it out. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Yeah, you gotta come out of her, man. Yeah, I come out of her, my people. It's a few uh, Ephesians, Ephesians 4 and 11. Ephesians 4 and 11. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4 and verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Yeah, so that's what we're out here doing. The Lord set up pastors, prophets, teachers, servants of the Lord to come out and edify the people, man. To get the, to, to bring out the true books, man. Because right. who knows these people, they can read anything, man. We got to come out here and establish a, a order, man. Establish righteousness. Let me know the, the one and only true book is the is the uh, the, the, uh, the word of God. That's Get Isaiah thirty four and sixteen right there. For the perfecting of the saints. That's two minutes. Yeah, two and this minutes. will be about two minutes. Two minutes for the word of God. You believe in the Bible? Come here, the word of the Lord with us. Two minutes. I got it. One scripture. All right, so one scripture. One scripture. He said, "Will you stop for one scripture?" Okay, so you don't really gotta go. Right. You an Israelite, you gotta repent, keep God's commandments. Wait, read that from the top. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter four, in verse eleven. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of faith of the faith. And of the no knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. Yeah, and this we call the people will be a perfect man. We'll be a one accord. We got to come together. This is what we come together to do. We're bringing the people together through the, by the, by the, with the God's preaching the good news. So they can be a one faith. They can be like the perfect man. I mean, get a Ezra 3 and 1. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Hamashiach. Right. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro. You don't want to be like a child tossed to and fro. Right. Child believes anything. Man. First they believe this, next thing you know they believe that. They 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 all over the place, man. Anything you teach a child, they pretty much gonna go for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you can't. You, it can be Wednesday. You can tell a child, no, it's actually Thursday. They'll believe it. Yeah, they don't know yet. Mine yeah, they'll know. Yet. They'll be like, oh, take Thursday. Yeah. And they'll believe. Believe yeah. you and go. You know, go and. Go. But you teaching them. You the teacher at yeah, that right, particular exactly. time. So, so yeah. an adult, you can't kind of get that back. Man, it's not that. It's a plan, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a child lacks the the wherewithal, the knowledge, uh -huh. the wisdom. You don't know, understand it. You don't want to be like that. Man. Right. First you believe in the Bible. That's a double-minded man. Then you believe in the Quran. Then you believe in the, the, the book of Adam and Eve. Then Adam never ate an apple. But then his first wife that never existed gave him an apple. So he, he must have eaten the apple. It's all you Come on, man. All over. All yeah, over. you just tossed to and fro. Yeah. Right, Kiri? Kind. Wait a minute. Who's that? Who's that team? Green Bay? You can't hold hands with a Green Bay. <laughs> Even the Edomites households are out of order, man. <laughs> out of order, man. You can't 
can't do that. The household out of order is the divided. <laughs> he's too standing, he's too be together unless they agree. Like, like, bring this out. Verse 14. That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine. Yeah, every wind of doctrine, every new book, everything you hear, you're not like really solid on anything. You gotta kinda stand firm in the word of God. Be the scripture says to be unmovable. You gotta be unmovable in the word of God. You can't if, if the Lord says uh homosexuality is a sin, you can't say, oh, they came up with a Queen James Bible and it says it's not. So now nah, no. Be stand firm on it. Being a homosexual, being gay, being a, a transgender, right. it's a sin, it's wicked, it's an abomination. Right. You don't repent, you'll burn. That's and right. it is what it is. We said what we said. You understand? That's how things are going. Man, you can't say, oh, but I, I just don't know. Sometimes I believe it, sometimes I don't. Right? Uh, it's a lot of that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness. Yeah, Where, there's, there's a lot of cunning craftiness, man. Man, you got a lot of slick talk. They talk well, they talk sometimes they talk fast. Sometimes they you know they they, they very uh animated, you know what I'm saying, very entertaining. You got a lot of false prophets in the last days. You know what I'm saying? They'll do whatever, they'll chuck and jaw, they'll dance, they'll give you they give you money, they'll promise you things. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of distractions in the last days. Man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be focused and, and uh, like I said, grounded in the word of the Lord. That's right. Whereby they lie in the in wait to deceive. Yeah, these people lie in wait to deceive. They can't wait to kind of trick you, trick you from the other uh, word of God. Man. Right. Keep reading. But speaking the truth in love, we may grow up into Him in all things. Yeah, we grow up. We, we mature. Keep reading. Which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the, the edifying of itself in love. Give Mark, give Mark 4 and 10. It's the book of Ezra, chapter 3, and verse number 1. And when the seventh month was come, and the children of Israel were in the cities, the people gathered themselves together as one to, as one man to Jerusalem. Yeah, they gathered together as one man. You gotta be as one man. I mean, we're united. We're one. You understand? And that's what we gotta do. Bring the people together as one man. You understand? On one accord, one band, one sound. That's how it should be. We all preaching y'all, watching y'all with shots. We all living righteous. We all keeping God's Sabbath day. We're all not equal. You say you want to come together, this is how you come together. Like drop that, give Zeph and I a one. Zephaniah is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desire. Right. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass at the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the day. So yeah, so before the fierce anger of the Lord, the Lord not coming back as a nice guy. The Lord not coming back to hug you. The Lord not coming back to get, kiss, kiss babies on the forehead. The Lord is coming back with a sword. The Lord is coming back to cause death on the earth. The Lord is coming back with the with the holy angels to, to cause judgment, and to, to execute judgment, and to uh, cause the lake of fire to run through the streets of America. Man. That's what the Lord comes coming back to do. And the Lord is and the Lord has commanded us to gather together in righteousness, uh, throw away these evil books, and to only acknowledge the heavenly Father. Man. Right. Yes, it it's the Book of Mark, chapter four and verse ten. And when he was alone. They were about him with the twelve, asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Yeah, we all go into this. This is a mystery. The Lord's making parables because the Lord don't want everybody to get it. These are the secrets of the highest, man. These are mysteries to the people, man. These people are, even us, from the spirits. And you have eyes to see and ears to hear. You came back, brother? If you have eyes to see and ears to hear, then we are speaking in code, man. We come up here and speak, man. 
That's why you can say things out loudly. You can be in the middle of the street. People were speaking uh, another language spiritually. They don't know what we're talking about. But they don't have eyes to see and ears to hear. It's not like foreign language to them. Right, it's not like a foreign language. You can even speak, what's that called when they, uh, pig Latin. You can speak pig Latin in open public. Only certain people understand what you're saying. You know, or, or if somebody talks in Spanish, only a few understand what's being said. And this is, that's why the floor said that the sheep will hear my voice. Only a few would really hear what's being said. They can know, they know we're talking, they hear us, they see Bibles, but they, they're not really hearing you are. You are keep it. And he, he said unto them, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But unto them that were without, all these things are done in parables. That seeing they may see and not perceive. In hearing they may hear and not understand. Lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. So, and he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how and when will ye know all parables? And the sower sows the word. Yeah, the sower sows the word. The word is going out. Right, read. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately. You got some people that when they word, when they hear the word, Satan cometh immediately. They cometh immediately and kind of snatch That's them me. away. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Keep reading. And taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Yeah, so they they might hear the word of God, they receive the word of God, but taking it in. But if Satan comes, he snatched the word of God away. That's what we are here for. Absolutely. And these are they. Likewise, which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness. Yeah, so y'all, some people are on stony ground. They hear the word, and they immediately receive it with gladness. They're happy to hear the word. They're happy to hear the word. They're you know, grateful to hear the word. They're, you know, they're blown away by the word of God. They're like, yeah, this is, this is the truth. I'm with it. I want to be on fire for the Lord. Keep it. And have no root in themselves, and so endure. But for a time, you got some people that go on it for a little bit. They hear the word of God, they, they take it in. They might be out preaching the word, they might be studying every day. They may watch three, four, five videos a day. Every day up till six in the morning, watching videos, writing precepts down. But then they only endure for a little while. That's you know they kind of slowly just fade away into, into, the, into darkness. You understand? You never see them. Afterward, when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. Yeah, and this happened. This like this kind of reminds me of uh, the one brother we were talking about the week. We were saying like you know people on drugs and they sinning, they doing this, they smoking weed because that tradition. You well, when persecution comes, you gotta still keep going, man. You gotta still keep the faith. You gotta still believe. You gotta still do the work. You can't just I'm only, only doing good when, it, when my life is right. But when my life, when all hell breaks into my life, I start doing drugs. The Lord says, uh, if you if you think in, in a time of adversity, then your strength is weak. Right? Can you? Uh, and these are they which are sown among thorns, such as her, hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things entering in. Yeah, and we see stuff like this all the time. That's just, I mean, I give example each and every thing. The brother last week, we come out here, serve the Lord if he get rich. No, uh, what do you say? Something like that. Um, somehow, he got to like, make money or something. He want to serve the God, whoever God make him rich. He's talking about his buddy, too. His buddy uh, owned this and got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was almost, yeah. yeah. Wasn't he sleeping in somebody's house? Yeah, that was him. Yeah, that was him. Crazy. Yeah, that was him. This is crazy. Yeah. Even the other brother that was looking at all the women that was walking by, like, he acted like he had some type of business or who it was, but when right. the girl walked by, he had all his attention. All that attention, yeah. How you doing, brother? You back? Yeah, I just had to tell you. Yeah, tell me. First, tell us, why did you walk away from the word of God the first time? Speak up a little bit, bro. I'm trying to hear you. Yeah, why did you walk away the first time? I just told you a very long time. Okay. Um, I feel like there's more to it than just that. That's why it's why it's coming for a second. Um, there's more to what I said? No, 
care what everybody says. Period. Not one man is just going to find out the thing of the unknown. Because it's more than 100%. You have people trying universal mastery or traveling for everything. Verse 16. Bring it out. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Seek out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None of these words will fail. None of these prophecies will fail. Read. None shall want her mate. None what? None shall want her mate. Meaning you can't, uh, you can't, you can't mix the Bible and uh, magic together. You can't do it. Nothing is equal to the Bible. There's nothing that's like, look, oh, this is not like go toe and toe with. It's not like peanut butter and jelly. It's not like Bible and magic. Bible and Quran. You need, but no. It's not like that. It's Bible and the Bible stands alone on its own. Right? Get Matthew chapter 9 and verse I think it's 14. Like a battery too. Negative positive. It ain't gonna go Say together. What? I said negative like a battery. Yeah. Negative positive ain't gonna never go That's together. Right. You can't, you can't never, never put, put that together. You can't put the, righteousness and wickedness righteousness, yeah. and they come together. Now. It's the book of Matthew book. chapter 9 verse 15. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and then shall they fast. No man putteth a piece of new cloth. This is the point. Read 16 from the top. Nah, verse 16. No man putteth a piece of new cloth unto an old garment. You don't take a new piece of cloth. Let's say you get a brand new Gucci shirt. You're not going to mix it with your old, wrinkled, raggedy, you know, Hanes t-shirt. And so I'm going to put the Louis Vuitton uh, shirt with this with this dirty, stained-up Hanes t-shirt. And I'm going to make one garment. That's not, that, that you will ruin the whole thing. Right, Kiri? For that which is put in to fill it up, take it from the garment. Yeah, it'll mess up the whole garment. And, uh, listen, and, on a deeper, and on a deeper level, this garment represents wisdom. You cannot take wisdom from the scriptures and then the wisdom from the world and mix them all together. It'll ruin the... Uh, listen, brother. I, I didn't interrupt you. You were talking. Now my turn to talk. You will ruin the whole shirt. You will look You will look better in the, in the raggedy Hanes shirt than you would in a Hanes shirt mixed with Louis Vuitton, mixed with something up. You will look silly wearing that. Yeah. that that'll make it worse. So, you, you, you those are wool. Those are wool. No, no, no. I'm not done saying it either. Yeah, I'm, not done, I'm not done saying it. it. And the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles. You're not going to keep trying to put new wine into old bottles, brother. Read. Else the bottles break. It'll break. Keep reading. And the wine runneth out. And the bottles perish. But That's what's happening to you, brother. Your wine is running out. What you got to say? I'm going to say this to the computer because That's you not basically a computer, brother. explain everything to me or whatever it is. 
It's already mixed. This whole world is. But that's why you hate the other world. You gotta hate the world. You have no. You don't hate the world. The world. The world. You do hate the world. The Bible tells you not to hate the world. Are you saying right now? Yes, yeah, first job. The Bible does not tell you not to hate the world. The, the, the Bible commands you the, to hate the world. The they bring world, out Amos uh, 5, that, 15. that's what it says, then the world is, is a learning. It's a testing stage. It's the book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 15. Hate the evil. Do what? Hate the evil. What the Lord say? Hate, hate the, the evil. evil. And love the good. Right. And establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. The Lord said to love, not, I think that's first John 2, like uh, 15. Yes, hate the evil, I agree with that, but this is my last thing. And I, I Bring it up. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. Bring it out. Love not the world. No, I love it. Love, love not, not the, the world. world. No, the Bible said don't, uh, the Bible said to love it. Love not, not the, the world. world. The Bible said love not, mean hate. Do not have no love for the world, really. Neither the things that are in the world. Don't love the things that are in the world. Really. If any man love the world. If a man is like you who love the world. The love of the Father is not in him. So you got the love of the Father. You do not have the love of the world. You keep trying to make. You can't have a, do you have the love of the Father, brother? What I'm going to say is So if you have the love of the Father, then you cannot have the love of the world. Read it again for the time. Love not the world. Do what? Love not, not the, the world. world. So, brother, you have a problem with submitting to truth. Well, the problem, the thing is, brother, we're not trying to uh, make you look foolish. What we're trying to do is that you're, that, of course we're not, because it's not saying the right things. We're correcting it. Give me Proverbs 16, 23. We're correcting it. So when you say something that's wrong, and we, and we read that, don't, 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 don't walk away. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. Let me finish this, and then I'll No, let us finish the word of God. We're teaching you. You're 16, so you don't know me yet. Bring this up. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 23. Bring it out. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction. This is reproof of instruction. We're reproving you. Are, are the way of life. This is the way of life, but you need this correction. So now is not the, give me please, yes, one. Now is not the time for you to speak. Now is the time for you to be quiet. That's right. Now, listen to the correction, because the Bible is to correct you. Because you, you have a, a, a forward way of thinking. Like you should explain. Mr. Book of First John, no, no, chapter 2, verse 15. Right, bring it out. Love not the world. Do what? Love, love not, not the, the world. world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world. If you love the world, what you just said that you can love the world. No, no, no. The Bible says to love the world. Love the world. If you love the world. The love of the Father is not in him. Then the love of the Father is not in you. What you just said is you explain for me again the truth. He says to sit down and shut up, right? Which means learning. Yes. You you, you learn from the world. Why did you say to shut up? To right? get learned. Yes. I, I told you to yeah. listen to the word. You're, you cannot talk while the word You might have up. said be quiet, but your actions show shut up because you continue to talk over me. Don't say something you didn't say. Listen, listen, um, listen brother. It don't, listen, it don't matter if it's be quiet. What you guys explained about. was the very creation itself. Good and evil are already a mix. You're talking about there's not a mix. I'm no, that's not, not what I'm saying. You're mind. misunderstanding, brother. You're not listening. You don't like the bad. I don't like it either. But the bad has to do with part to be able to mix with the good. You have to have bad. Everything can't no be saying good. You can't have bad, brother. Everything can't brother, be good. You're not perfect. even saying. You're not even representing. And that's the all body. I got to say. You're, you're, Everything you know, can't you're be. You're misunderstanding what we're saying. There has to you. be good. There has to be bad. That's all right. There's two parts of the tree of shadows. That's all. And I'm not today. You're, you're misunderstanding what we're telling you, brother. Because you're not listening. You're so busy wanting to talk. Go ahead, bring it up. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 1. Stop walking away and come back in the word of the Lord. Bring it up. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. Yeah, so we know there's good and evil. A false balance would be an abomination. We're fully aware of that. What, what you're mixing is magic and the Bible. Did he say magic? Magic. Yeah, he thought he ain't through that. Yeah, yeah. Said, he ain't through that. The Lord wants to, wants to kill a, uh, what do you say, a witch. You know what I'm saying? Right yeah. 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 And people who want this whole magic. Yeah. The Lord not with magic, man. Yeah, with tarot cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. Champions. Get uh, Isaiah 19. Horoscope. Oh, yeah. yeah, horoscope, birthdays. Oh, birthdays. oh that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Get Isaiah 19. You can read it It's the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 18 and verse 10. Bring it out. There shall not be found among you anyone 
that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through fire, or that useth divination. Right, divination. Or an observer of time. Yeah, like uh, being a to the future and you got the globe and you kind of you're doing all that foolishness, man. Like I said, tear a card, you plant a card, and pick mm -hmm. one. And we're not with that. They doing the uh, the, uh like the um, the bio pick on uh, Cleo. Oh, yeah, Miss Cleo, they doing the bio pick on her. I wow. think down here, down the street where uh, we say you depart, I seen uh, you know, you gotta go down that street, you make that right when you get that stop. That red light on that street, they, I seen one time they had a uh, a little future, shop. Yeah, those shops. Yeah, shop. yeah, I seen yeah. that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of those around. Yeah. Like little oh yeah, they popping up. Yeah, they been popping they, up. There's yeah, a lot of them. Up. I want to burn it up. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> right. Or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consultant with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a uh, necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. Yeah. Uh, I can finish it off. And, the be and because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, and verse number 1. Bring it out. The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud. It shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. Yeah, and this is talking about America. America is Egypt. America is Egypt. America is Sodom and Gomorrah. America is Babylon. America is all of it. You understand that? And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. And everyone against his neighbor. City against city. And kingdom against kingdom. Oh, Isaiah chapter 19, verse 14. Bring it out. The Lord hath mingled a per perverse spirit in the midst thereof. Yeah, so the midst of Egypt, which is America, is a perverse spirit, man. There's an evil spirit here in America. That's a right. wicked spirit. Yep. That's why you got sodomites. Five for women, you know what I'm saying? 16 year olds who are on drugs. I believe he's on drugs. Yeah, yeah, 16 year old yeah, yeah. drug addict, you understand? Know it's just a perverse spirit. Uh, high murder rate, you understand? Know Lord, you got, you got spirits that cause these things. Give me first uh, Chronicles 21 and 16. You got spirits sitting over the cities. You understand? Know you got certain that's cities right. that's known for certain things. We go to Las Vegas, it's a gambling spirit. Right. The city of Sin, sin. Yeah, yeah. Right? the city of Sin, Sin City. Yeah. It's about to uh, whores and harlots and prostitution. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Legal. Legal. Yeah. Yeah. Legal. 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 Yeah. I say evil, man. Yeah. When you want to really reach the peak of sin, you say, I'm going to go to Las Vegas. Yeah. Then you got LA, Los or California. California is just a bunch of sodomites, yeah. a bunch of uh, liberals and feminists. Uh -huh. Then you kind of go to Chicago. You go to Chicago, you can do a drink. You want to kill, you want to hunt your ops down, you might want to go to Chicago, go to damn Baltimore. Yeah. You understand? What they doing, making videos. They making videos, you know, live videos going on YouTube, making videos. Like, shoot now. Like the, uh, the rich people around the world, they go to these big cities because they know it is sitting there. They know they can be someone else. They don't have to be, you know, the CEO. They right. don't have to be the owner. They can sin and do whatever they want in these free cities. Right, right. That's why it's so... Uh, populated and so much money running in and out those cities because yeah. that's what they do a whole bunch of wickedness. Yeah. Yeah. You got to think about oh. New York, a lot of robberies. Yeah. Atlanta, a lot of robberies. Yeah. You know what I'm A lot of just a bunch of evil stuff going on. Yeah. And all these different cities. Certain spirits. Yeah. Right here. Uh, this is the book of First Chronicles, chapter 21 and verse 16. Bring it out. And David lifted up his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven having a drawn sword in his hand stretched out over Jerusalem. You got an angel with a sword stretched out over all of Jerusalem. If, if you were to, you were to open your eyes, you might see an angel with a drawn sword just standing over Chicago. Just, just sitting there. And while y'all shooting and killing, spirits jumping on them, man. Right? Chilling. Having a drawn sword. That lays out like, like gang violence, gang banging, robbing damn rappers. You know, yeah. killing people, 
probably an angel with a drawn sword. What's that rapper, um, Julio? This guy? Julio. Ju Julio, yeah, Julio. Julio. Yeah, that's Julio. Julio. Well, he's from Florida. 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 Julio, yeah, they, Julio. Set him up, got the end. Yeah, Julio yeah, and Julio yeah. was set up by some geese. Yeah. And got killed. It's yeah. a sword over hip hop. Yeah, yep. 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 exactly, people. exactly, yep. 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 It gotta be, ain't no other. Then David and the elders of Israel who were clothed in sackcloth fell upon their faces. Right, they, they, they humbled themselves. They, I'm like, don't humble themselves. They humble themselves, they repent it. But y'all Israelites, y'all gotta repent, keep God's commandments. And David said unto God, Is it not I that commanded the people to be numbered? Even come to the words of the Lord. You stopped and looked at it, might as well come to the word of the Lord. Even I it is that have sinned and done evil indeed. But yeah, because David was going off, so the Lord had to put him in place. Bring that up. Uh, Isaiah 47 and 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 47 and verse 1. Yo. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Wait, talking about America. Sit in the dust, come to a low state, come to a state of confusion. Uh, right, keep reading. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. But we always go into this, right? America is not going to be known as. Uh, this tender, delicate, beautiful, you know, great place that people kind of swim into. Right, see with him? Take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover yeah. thy locks. Make bare the leg. Yeah, I mean, America being exposed for her neck, uh, her nakedness is being shown, her shame is being shown, her sin is being revealed. Right, see with him? Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Yeah, the Lord not gonna meet you as a, as a man. Right? I mean, the Lord is gonna, uh, gonna come back as a, as a fierce man of war. Man. As the Lord will come back to cause, not as a as a, as a lamb, but the Lord come back like a lion. Right, King Uh As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Yeah, they didn't show us no mercy to America. To me. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Therefore, hear now this, that thou art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly, that saith in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. Yes, yeah, America. America said, I am. Who said, I am? The Heavenly Father. I mean, Yahweh said, I am. Uh -huh. So America believes that they are, uh, they got a, a God. They believe they are a God. They believe that they're a, they have a God like uh, what they call it? Uh, complex, something like that? Yeah. Yeah, so they, they think that they're God, they play the role of God. Right? Keep reading. Uh, I shall sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of the sorcery. For the multitude of sorcerers. That's the point I want. So America think I come off as holy, as righteous. America come off as this beautiful woman. You understand? They come off like a God. Let me think. Uh, no, I told that. Person. They come off like like God. But Lord said He's gonna destroy them, expose them for that sorcery. Can you hear? Uh. <laughs> And for the great abundance of thine enchantments. And enchantments, right? So it's a lot of evil spirits. I remember when Isaiah 19, it's a perverse spirit in Egypt, in America, right? Keep reading. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none sees me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. Wait, so he said, none see me, man. So they, they kind of do things in secret and think they're innocent. And this so called wisdom starts to. Trick it down to the, to the people. It's the book of Revelation. Chapter, uh, 
chapter 17, verse number one. Bring it out. And so, here, like, so yeah, that's the all these spirits and tear card readers. That's that's just a uh, uh, that's just America, man. They're, they're a, uh, an extension of America. Uh, I can't think of the word. A product of America. They have been made to become Americans, so they believe in these things. Who knows what that man does down to the dark secret? You understand? Why do I relate to, to the uh, magic? Because you a lover of the world, man. Right, go on, start playing with a Ouija board. Right, yeah, Ouija board, man. You know, damn Harry, it's all in the Harry Potter movies. It's all in all these weird movies. All these Halloween movies. You understand? And they start to kind of feed that to the people. And slowly but surely over time, it starts to be acceptable. It starts to be the norm. Uh, yeah. And people really talk, people really base their morality off of normal. You understand? Whatever is normal, that's what their morality is. It's like 15 years ago, it was immoral to be a homosexual, but now it's moral. Yeah. I'm pretty sure in 1940, they probably was frown, frowned upon. It was hit. Yeah, it was frowned really upon to be a to get an abortion. Yeah. To probably damn uh you know, have a baby out of wedlock. Embarrassment. Yeah, it's yeah, like shame. Yeah, yeah, shame, shame, yeah. shame yeah. But now it's, it's normal, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's the normal. Growing up, you stood out when you was gay. Yeah. So and so gay. He yeah. gay. Yeah. What do you mean gay? So and so, she had abortion. She had abortion. Yeah. Like, it was like, ooh. Yeah. Like, yeah. now it's like, damn near regular. Yeah. 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 I want to say I want to say this too. Those the, uh, the, those precepts relate to the heathen though too. The heathen they were sold on the so-called American dream. Then they get here, they realize it ain't that. Right. You talk to an Asian or Arab long enough, they'll tell you they hate the white man. They oh, hate yeah. you know they they saw you that you know they do them like that. But they had that plan though too though. You know they bring their family in mm -hmm. and get that business going and take care of their, you know their own people. Yeah. That's what they do. You know to get back. Or make it, you know what I'm saying? That's right, that's right. Yeah, I was gonna say too, they start young, like they put it in the like the Disney channel, like I mean Walt Disney and all that, the magical people, oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, spells, yeah, yeah. the robot, yeah. you know, uh, the potions they put together, they normalize it when we young, so we can order it's like you find out like, the meaning, yeah. you're like, whoa. And even them songs. Like the, even when you yeah. like watch it, it kind of like hypnotize you. When you're young, you know you yeah, watch yeah, it all the yeah. They have all types of these movies. It said the children's magic movie picks. Wow. You got Terabithia, The Carrier Children, Toy Story, Slumberland, what is this? Great Pop, Oz, oh, the new Oz, classic. Where the Wild Things Are, Wish, The Wiz, uh, Spider Wick. We made billions of trillions on that stuff. Yep. We got Tooth Fairy, Peter Pan, Mickey Mouse. When you go to the theater, you know, they make it enhance yeah. everything. So just imagine sitting in the theater right. watching them wicked uh you know, movies and stuff. So it's really jumping, you know, jumping. You mean the bees? Like the, the, like the music, yeah, all that. All that. Yeah. Even the songs. Matilda. Matilda. Yeah. Even those songs, they be spells. Yeah. They be spells that you be saying. You think it's a, you know, it's a good song. Right. And it's catchy, but it's a real spell that you be saying. Yeah, it's meaning behind it, Jay, come back, Two King. Men, yeah. You said you told Two us. Men. You gave us your word. They do that in Islam? All right, man. You feel it? Hey, Beyond. Nice to meet you, King. What's up, King? Do so y'all believe in the Bible? What's up, King? Let's read one scripture for One scripture. Deuteronomy uh, chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring it to Egypt again with ships. So the Bible said that the Israelites were going to slavery on slave ships. Like we went to slavery on slave ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And you will see your homeland again. And there you shall be sold. You were sold, right? Okay, now we're so to the cognizers, right? Unto your enemies! Thou said that the cognizers will be our enemies. You will be so to your enemies. What race will the cognizers be? Right. So what people, what race of people was put into slavery on ships and then sold to their enemies? 
For bond men? Who was sold for slave men? And bond women? And slave women. So all throughout the Bible is black history, all throughout the Bible. Us being put in slave ships, us having yokes of iron around our necks, us living in the pools and the ghettos throughout America, that's in their feet. All throughout the Bible. Our children being taken from us. Our whole history is in the scriptures. So where the people understand. You can't read about black history in any other book. Any other book that's about so-called God, the Quran, or any other book you read in, I can I give a thousand dollars right now to give some of the black history in any other book. Like that. We'll give you a thousand dollars. We each got a thousand dollars. Is black history happen to This the Holy Bible? I know. Yeah, all the Holy Bible's got the same thing said in all of them. Any book you've got is black history got the whole Bible. It's Revelation 1 and 2. The book of Revelation. Well, let's uh, Google it, call somebody, any way to prove it. I got a thousand dollars. It's the book of Revelation, chapter Black one, head. verse fourteen. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It says Jesus Christ had wool in here. Who got wool in here? Black people, right? As white as snow. He was white. The elder, he got white wool in here. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Yeah, red eyes. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. Fine brass. Brass like the cut of a, of a thing. Like bronze. That's the skin I got, the skin we all got. Fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. So a dark skinned man who, who like got burned in a furnace will wood here. That's that's what Jesus like. Jesus is not a, a white man who grew up. So throughout the Bible, this is our book, the only book that the so-called black people can take an eat to. Because the only book of God was it's the only book of God period. But the only book that they claim is of God that got to this is the same book. No book. The only play book that said that your Messiah looks like you. So this is the, the Holy Bible that's what you got to take into. We are the chosen people of God. That's right. Everybody is not equal. This is what I'm saying. Everybody is not equal in the eyes of God. God didn't create us. Huh? All right, brother. Take a flight. Take a flight. I'll catch you in, bro. Yeah, every Saturday. Y'all from yeah. Cleveland? Yeah, we out here every Saturday at 3 o'clock. Tap in, King. It's our history. Who are we going to? Oh, we're going to Revelation 17. Oh, yeah, like I said about the Disney thing, we always think that, you know, they train you up from a child, man. And you just start to kind of accept it. First, you know, it might be innocent. That's what they even say when it comes to Christmas and stuff like that. We're doing it for the kids. Is this something innocent for the kids? And next thing you know, your son is out here on drugs talking about he can relate to match. Because he wants to do it for the kids, man. Right. And take him to see Michael Jackson on the way to the house. They put it in your face, too, like, hocus pocus. You wish you had a wand when you was younger, you know, get a wand for Christmas or whatever the case may be. You walking around the house, cast a spell on the wall and all types of stuff. Oh, yeah. Even on Disney Channel, like a part of their marketing was a child with a wand and he'll, uh, you know, draw the, yeah, uh, the yeah, Mickey Mouse yeah, sign yeah, yeah. to go to commercial or come back or whatever the case may be. Right. You just think that's so cool, but it's actually wicked. Oh, oh yeah. Doing yeah. The yeah. Yeah, and also the government, I was just looking up, the government also fund a lot of these movies. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's like, this, does the government fund movies? Google literally says, yes, in various forms. Many state governments will offer tax credit for the movie industry to film in their state. That's, that's another one that, uh, I think it's, I got what it's called, that fun movie. Man, I didn't think of it. <laughs> it's crazy because ultimately it's to prevent us from keeping the commandments. It's, it's allowing us to continue to be in sin. Like, mm -hmm. yep, they exactly. project life, different lifestyles on us. Because yeah. they know we at home watching TV or on our phone, whatever the case be. They, pro they project lifestyles mm -hmm. on our kids. Program. Yeah, and they First grow up yep. and thinking one way and it ain't the way. Right, right. That's crazy. Yeah. Deep. yeah, it is. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 17, and verse number 1. Bring it out. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. Yeah, the, the, the whore is the... Uh... Or the Pentagon, that's what it's called. 
Pentagon film movie too. But the whore, we already read about the whore. That's a miracle. Right, Babylon. She's that, that whore who's coming off as this sweet, innocent woman. Right. Hey, right. Let, me, let me look this up. I've seen this. I've seen somebody talk about this too. The Pentagon, all that stuff, you know what you just brought up? That means something that symbol that that, that uh, it looked like a uh, yeah that yeah all that but they got the uh, it's like a beacon yeah, yeah, yeah. that means something the way they built the uh, the, the uh, defense building yeah, yeah, yeah. built it's like an octagon all, everything everything built premeditated, yeah, premeditated yeah. but they all mean something yeah, the signs sign. yeah yeah, yeah. Say, say, uh, 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 Jay killed that though he uh, drew up the, the blueprint for that. Uh, yeah, he probably did. Yeah. But that but his means, his evil means yeah, 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 they, they got have all a, that. Uh, Instagram yeah. what do you call these women? Uh, model or whatever the case may be. Influencer. Her name is uh Brittany. I can't think of her last name. So Brittany Rayner? Br Brittany Rayner? Yeah, she was man, I, that's a god man, come on. I've seen her god, like covered up that's, that's, I was about to say that yeah, that's, that's that god. whore coming off is kinda yeah. like that's a god. sweet lady, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That's what America do. You know what I'm saying? Be a whore. You can do that a lot. You know, do that a lot. Even uh, they, but uh, that voice be changes. That's rocky. That voice be changing. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if you ever really listen. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes people go they whore. They go to different city and start new. You know what I'm saying? Start fresh. Yeah. Different schools, different right. colleges. You know, transfer. They do that, man. They be a whore. The next thing you know, they you know. New they identity. Go, yeah, they new identity. Yeah. And it's a woman. Yeah. Right? yeah. And that's what America does. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 1. Bring it out. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore. Yeah, so they saw you the judgment that's going to be uh, brought upon America, right? That sitteth upon many waters. Meaning the waters of the nations, right? I'll tell you that in verse 15. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. And the inhabitants of the earth have been drunk with the wine of her fornication. Why of yours, brother? So he carried away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast. Yeah, you sit upon, upon that beast, meaning that the beast is giving a woman its power. You understand? The beast is the Roman Empire, NATO, the EU. This would give the woman power. When you go to Luke, I think you're thinking Luke. Yeah. I think maybe like verse 30. Of the Good Samaritan. It's the book of Luke, chapter 10, in verse 30. It reads. It's the book of Luke, chapter 10, in verse 30. And Yahweh shot answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves. We stripped him of his raiment. Yeah, this is a parable. So we're that certain men. We represent the Israelites. We represent the men. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. We fill among thieves, which is Esau, the other nations, the white man, the Arabics, the Chinese, etc. And they ripped us from our raiment. They took our clothes from us. You understand? Meaning they robbed us of our wisdom, our knowledge, our understanding, our history, who we are, the, the precepts that, that we were able to put together in the scripture. Right here, really? And wounded him. And yeah, kind of wounded us, beat us down, man. Trampled over us. And departed, leaving him half dead. And we half dead out here, man. That, one, that brother was half, half dead. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Yeah, the priest is our leader. He's supposed to be loving us, supposed to be kind, supposed to, you know, uh, you know uh, take care of us. Supposed to have compassion on Got the wisdom they know. Yeah. But the priest is damn Kamala Harris. No. Kamala Harris, see, what is this? He said I'm not going to do nothing specifically for black people. He said I'm not going to do nothing specifically for black people. That's that priest that just walking past while he's just beating down. But then they gave the uh, the Asians a hate this. Right? So she just walked past you. Right? You really? Barack Obama, uh, T.D. Jakes. We were talking about some pastor who had a secret sin a couple weeks ago. Oh, uh, wow. Pastor Dowling? Do uh, was it Dowling? No, he was my Christian pastor. He was. No, no. no. He had, he he got, had, a he had, he got a radio show. He got a radio show. Yeah, he had, a, big, he had a, big, a secret sin that he had stepped down. I think in Texas, maybe. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, he, he's a priest too. Right? He was, and uh, Bishop A. Long, which, you know, he got exposed and ended up costing him his life. Uh, verse 32. 
And likewise, a Levite, when he was at the, at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him. And he went to him and bound up his wounds. Yeah, he bound his wounds up. Pouring in oil and wine. Oil and wine represent wisdom. And set him on his own beast. And he set him on his own beast. Meaning, give him his power back. All right, get Ecclesiastes 10, uh, 6, 7, 7, 7, 7. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10 and verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses. So servants are upon horses now. Who the servants he's on? He's on the he's on a horse, man. I mean he's on he's he on peace. He's the man of the power, really. Uh, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. And the princes of God are walking as servants on the earth. I forgot what event it was. That that picture had went viral where it was a uh, like an Edomite sheriff or a cop. He was uh Walking the in, I was it the immigrants he was walking across the border, or it was like a, a weird. It's a few years ago. I can't remember quite the, uh, the situation, but the picture went viral amongst Israel. Like brothers was talking about it in camps. I think that's what talking about. It might have. He Haitians. had a whip. He was whipping like the Haitians. Yeah, because the Haitians had came. They had uh, exactly. went to Mexico. They had went to Mexico. Yeah, it was like a group of Haitians went to Mexico. Levites went to Mexico. It was like verbatim, like prophecy. You know, it was this verse, like verbatim. Man, that's crazy. The Lord made it manifest. Yeah, as it is written. Something like this. You got the servant, he's on a horse. Uh, and you got the princes of, of God kind of walking on feet. Right? So you go back to uh, whatever. Go at the top of that verse. It's the book of Revelation. Chapter 3. It's like it. Chapter 17, verse number 3. Look it out. So he carried me away in the, in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast. Yeah, and it's called his red because this is Esau. And this beast is something like that, native EU, Roman Empire. See, that's where she get our power from. Get a Revelation 13, and I think it's 11. The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse number 11. Bring it out. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. And he exercised all the power of the first beast. All the power of the first beast. But the first beast is in the Roman Empire, which is the, the kingdom of Satan. And now America is coming in with the same spirit of Rome to kind of, uh, to kind of you know, same spirit, the same spirit of Roman Empire and forced to do the works of the Roman Empire while being in America. So you are wrong all over again. Right now, look this up here. Bunch of different, bunch of you know similarities, man. Yeah. Right? People comparing Rome to America. Yeah, he starts trying to keep that image up too. Yeah, in a thousand, in a thousand, thousands of different ways, Roman Empire, America, same thing. So we have Roman Empire all over again. Right? See, we don't have. Oh uh, yeah, verse like verse like the this is the book of um, Revelation chapter 12 and verse number 11. 13 11. 13 verse number 11. When I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. Yeah, beasts are known. You might think, oh, this is an actual beast. This is an animal. This is not an animal. Beasts are likened unto kingdoms and, and, and rulers, and etc. Look at Daniel 8 and verse 3. Right, so the Bible, like you always say, is speaking in code. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 8 and verse 3. Then I lifted up mine eyes and saw, and behold, there stood before the river a ram, which had two horns, and 
the two horns were high, but one was higher than the other. Right, so he see this vision of an actual ram with two horns and one being higher than the other. Right, this is literal. The higher came up last. I saw the ram pushing westward and northward and southward so that no beast might stand before him. Neither was there any that could deliver out of his hand. But he did according to his will and became great. And as I was considering, behold, God, verse 20. So you see this ram, you know, doing whatever he wanted to do, right? With two horns, right? Verse 20, the ram which thou sawest. The ram, thou breaks it down. The ram which you see, read. Having two horns are the kings of Mede and Persia. Okay, so Persia. You, these are kings. So these beasts are kingdoms on the earth. God. So America the beast. God. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. And the ex and he exercised all the power of the first beast. He had so two horns like a lamb. The lamb is brother than God was shot. In a in a uh the Psalm 75 and 10, the horns is power. So he's coming in the power and trying to deceive you, make you think this is a godly king. Right here, uh, first, give me uh, John 1 and 29. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 75 and verse 10. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Yeah, the horns represent your power. We got two horns, meaning, uh, Christianity is religion, America's religion, is strength is in its religion, and also the strength is in its uh, politics. You get, uh, I think it's 92 and 10. The book of Psalms, chapter 92, in verse number 10. It reads, nice. it reads, but my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Mine eye also shall see my desire on mine enemies. And my ear shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. Yeah, so the horn represents your strength and your might. The strength and might of America is its politics and its uh, religion. Uh -huh. The book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. And he hath raised up an horn of salvation for us. Right, in, our horn of salvation is Christ. In the house, Salakia, in the house of his servant David. Yeah, it's the book of John, chapter 1 and verse 29. Read out. The next day, John seeth Yahweh shot coming unto him. It's saying, Behold, the land of Yahweh. Yeah, the lamb of Yahweh. So Christ is the lamb. Yahweh Shah, he's the lamb of the lamb of God. So when he got two horns like a lamb, come in the word of the Lord, brother. Come read the Holy Bible with your family. Yeah, a family that reads together, stays together. Let me bring that up. Look at that. Go back to Revelation. Yes. 13. Read verse 11. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse number 11. Bring it up. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. And he, yeah, I mean, he's, he's wicked. He's deceiving you. Right? America's deceiving you. This is great war that's deceiving you. Make you believe in magic. Make you believe in Christianity. Make you believe in the Republican Party, or, uh, the uh, a Democrat Party. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know Make you put your faith in these things. Because it's all deception. Make you uh, watch these weird movies. Okay. It's inter you know, entertaining. That's a, uh, a quote by this Roman, I think he was a poet. His name was Juvenal. And he had a, he believed, he said uh, that at that time, Roman Empire was nothing but uh, a kind of politics. It was uh, bread and circuses. Just bread and circuses. They get, whoever gave the people free bread, and they, whoever throw the biggest events and horse races, you know, at the time, that's basically what people vote. And the same thing now, bread and circus. Trying yeah. to please the people, entertain yeah. them. Like yeah, give them free that. food, yeah. give them free, sell, uh, home, you know, housing. Yeah. You know, and you got Donald Trump, it's hanging with the, uh, what's that, streamers? Yeah, just circus. 
You got them uh, Major Stallion twerking at a political event. Yeah, with, rapping for uh, uh, Kamala. Kamala, yeah. That's yeah. Great. Yep. Drink. And it's gonna be an educated woman. Yeah. She apparently graduated from college. I can imagine a college educated black woman, quote unquote, goes to a political event and all she got to offer is twerk. Yeah. I would think she got something smart to say. Right. Educated. Yeah. I don't know what college she went to, but whatever. She had a good example. Texas Southern, HBCU, I think. Yeah. And that's all she did. She turned her way to a degree. Mm -hmm. And became a rapper. <laughs> and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Book of Revelation, chapter 17, and verse number one. Bring it out. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vows and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom, with whom the kings of the earth have sitted, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Right, that's important. Y'all have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. We do a whole lot of precepts to get there. But yeah, been made drunk. Like, uh, yeah, been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. These people are drunk. You're not in the right mind. When you drunk, you don't know where you're going. You stump, you're, not, you're, not a, you're not walking. Hey, brother, come here to the word of God. Come on, King. Highlight it. Come here to the word of God, brother. Grab come her on. head and y'all both come over here and hear the word on, of the King. Lord. For two minutes, brother. Come on, two King. Two minutes. Don't ask her. Grab her and make her come here to the word of the come Lord. Come on. She want to come. Let's go. She with you, brother. Come here to the word of God. I'll praise the most high, man. Come on, inside. Come on, inside. Come on, come on here, man. Come on, here. You believe in the Bible? So we are in, what's the nationality? African American. So we are in, well, we actually want to let you know that I've read the Bible multiple times. And the word African American is not in there. The word Negro is not in there. The word uh, Afro American color, people of color, none of that stuff is in there. Who do God call us? Are, are we in the Bible? So what are we called in the Bible? How do we know we're reading about us? We're going to show you something, brother. Just go around the uh, We're going to show you something. Have you ever uh, heard of Moses? Yeah. Moses? Where did Moses, where is he known from? Good job. Okay. You ever heard of Moses splitting the race? Yeah, I heard of Okay, you know why he did that? Why did we need to walk through uh, the water? We were then, we were the slaves in the ancient Egypt. Moses said, let my people go, meaning free us from slavery. We escaped slavery. He split the Red Sea so we can escape slavery. We get away. You understand? After he did that, he did that. He did that. He did that. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearken me to listen. So Moses is now warning the people. Now that you're free, you have to listen to God. And if you don't, to observe, to do his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So they gotta listen to God and keep God's commandments. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if they don't obey God and listen to it, and obey his commandments and listen to him, then they will be cursed. You understand that, brother? Read verse 42. Because a curse is a good thing or a bad thing. Bad things will happen to them for their disobedience. Read verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. The curse is gonna be on the Israelites. These are Moses' people. The people that Moses freed from Egypt, they would be cursed, right? And they shall be upon thee for a sign. For a sign. So we know that you have Jordan's on because of the sign. We know that you got Nike hat on because of the check. You understand? We're going to know who the Israelites are based off of these signs. When we read these curses, I want you to think of all the different races on the earth. The white people, the Chinese people, the Korean people, the Arabic people, the black people. Think of all of them. And tell me which one you think best, think best fit these curses. Whoever fit them best, those are the Israelites. You understand that? Those are the people that Moses put that red seed. You understand? And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Forever. Even in 2019. 
2024, we can still relate. The Israelites will be able to relate to this thing. All right, so we're going to show you one. Read verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So the Israelites, when they hungry, they got to serve their enemies for food. And in thirst. When they thirsty, they got to go to another group of people that are the enemies. The same people that shoot them down in the streets, they got to go there for water. And in nakedness. They got to go to them for clothes. And in one of all things. What people do you think on the earth who are 100% dependent on the people who oppress and kill you? Like, there's a race of people, right? These people are dependent on another race of people who oppress them, who are, are enemies to them. Who do you, do you think that, uh, the Arabic, the Arabic people? Do you think they depend on people who kill them? Yeah. Who they depend on? The Arabic soldiers. You saying you have an enemy, right? Races have an enemy. Who? What people? What race of people depend on a, on another group of people, even though that group of people uh, are enemies? Right. Then white, white people depend on white people. Not just welfare and stuff like that, but we depend on them for a car, we depend on them for schooling, you know, a lot of different things. So, education, right. Uh, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And these people also had a yoke of iron around them. What people that change like? Slaves. Slaves. Which is what? Black people, right? Read verse uh, 54. Uh, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. So this is the people who are dependent. They have yokes of iron around their neck, and they also have an evil eye towards their own brother. You understand? Keep reading. And toward the wife of his bosom. And towards their woman. Read. And toward the remnant of his children. And when it comes to their children. Which he shall leave. They leave their children. What people that are dependent, they have a yoke of iron around their neck, they hate their own brother, and they leave their children. What people are we describing? Black people, but who God called them black people? What did he call them? Israelites. The Israelites. What's the last one? Right here, verse 68. Verse 68. Moses put the water for the Israelite people. You understand? That's who we are. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Bible said the Israelites were going to slavery on ships. We went to slavery on ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And we haven't seen our homeland again. And there you shall be sold. Ye shall be sold. Won't we sold? Right? Unto your enemies. God said we'll be sold to our enemies. Who will we sold to? That will make them our what? Our enemies. Right. right? For bond men. We are sold for slave men. And bond women. And slave women. So this is black history in the Bible. Those are iron around your neck. Separating from your brother, leaving your children, being sold into slavery to your enemies. This is black history in the scripture. You ever know the black history in the Bible? Oh, right, yeah, so we're the Israelites. So when you read about the Bible, we're reading the Bible, and you read about the Israelite people, you know, that's talking about me. That's my history. My history is great, it's not just Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. It goes farther than that. It's like Martin Luther King is a part of your people, Malcolm X is a part of your people, Moses is a part of your people. King David, King uh, Solomon, right? King Asa, these are all part of your people. You come from here. You understand that, brother? So we are the chosen people of God. And as the chosen people of God, we have been, we have been cursed. Look at our people, look around. Just, oh, at the bottom. Look how we live, look at these sisters. Look at us. That's why you put money in the people. This is how we have disobeyed God. That's right. You understand, this is, a, this is us being Separated from God. When you separate from God, you can't do nothing without God. You understand? Voting can't help you. Nothing can help you but by coming back to God. You understand? So we have to return back to the world again and these person are on us because of our disobedience. You understand? So we got to keep God's commandments. You know any commandments? So let's show you a couple of commands. How old are you? You're a man. You're a man. You're first to be 14. You're first to be 13. You're first to be 13. It's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, and verse number 11. When I was a child, I said, I was a child. 
I spake as a child. I spoke like a child. I understood as a child. You know, as a child like I thought as a child. Yeah, the thoughts of a child. But when I became a man, when you become a man, I put away childish things. I put away childish things. You have to be a man in it. First Kings 22. Uh, chapter 14. God, this is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 20. Brethren, be not children in understanding. When it comes to the understanding, when it comes to the Bible, you don't want to be childlike. A child lacks understanding. They lack wisdom. They don't, they need somebody to always show them something. They always need help. You know what I'm saying? They lack discernment. Right, Peter? How be it? In malice, be ye children. Yeah, when it comes to being malicious and evil, be, a, be like childlike to that. Be ignorant to that. Peter. But in understanding, be men. But when you understand, now it's time to be men. It's time to be serious. It's time to understand what you know what a being a man is about. What it really is about. It's the book of First Kings, chapter two and verse two. I go the way of all the earth. See, I go throughout the earth. Read. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. Say, show myself as a man. Like a lot of people will teach you in the world that being a man is sleeping with a bunch of women that'll make you a man. Maybe getting up some money will make you a man. You know, maybe them getting a tattoo will make you a man. Taking the trash out. Taking the trash out. That make you a man. Right, keep reading. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways. So being a man is to walk in the Lord's ways. A lot of these adults that see aren't real men. You know what I'm Not the same my people, but real men don't stand on the corner with a cup, shaking the pennies. He may be elder than you, but is that a man? That's not a man. Real men don't, you know, beat their women. Real men don't, you know, chase, chase women, easily distract them. That's not what real men do. They don't get high all day, or at all. That's not, that's what kids do. Kids kind of skip school, you know, kind of uh, tippy toe through the hallway to go to smoke a blunt. Right. You got grown men doing that. Right. Sneaking around, getting high all day, not, not being productive. Being men is following the ways of the Lord, right, kid man? To keep his statue and his commandments. Then you don't want to be those type of men 10 years from now. You want to be the men of, that study the Bible, man of wisdom, man of knowledge, and understanding. You understand, know Kevin? And his judgments and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses. As it's written in the law of Moses. What you got, you got this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Well, I say right now, you're going to be in the Lord said a man to have a beard. It's a badge of manly honor. Right? So you want to have, you don't want to shave your face off. Right? Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. Don't cut, you cut yourself. Don't be cutting yourself. Right? Can you For the dead, nor print any marks upon you. Don't print marks upon you. What is that? Tattoo, no tattoos. No tattoo. This is before. You gotta repent. I don't even have any tattoos. Oh, good. Don't get no tattoos. Most of the people regret their tattoos. You gotta stuck with it forever. You don't want to get tattoos, buddy. You understand? So that's what, that's what you gotta stay away from. Oh, you a poor? No, I'm just uh. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Yeah, you got a lot of people that hate their brother in their heart. You don't want to hate your brother in your heart. 
but your heart is a mob. You got a grudge. You feel, you know, you got secret vengeance. You're trying to, you know, a lot of you got grudges towards their husbands, towards their wives, towards, like I said, their brothers. You kind of hate them. Sometimes they say that I forgive you, but they don't really forgive you. They still kind of harboring on to that. It's still boiling up inside. You gotta let it go, man. And you usually swap, you usually find that out when they got have a gala. Yeah. You know, you be like, hey, they still feuding over, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes come out. you suck. Yeah, you like, like, 10 years ago? You know, right. A year ago, six Cousins, months ago? Cousins, you know, family, somebody family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People have these secret adventures. Yeah. Sometimes it's so, even if somebody's secret things, like, they'll just snap on you. Over oh, something. yeah. You know, yeah. you ever, like, you bump into a brother, and he's like, oh, my God, brother, oh, it's all good, brother, my bad, yeah, you know, it's all good. But that brother got that secret drug, you actually bump it to him, you always doing this. <laughs> like, whoa, what the heck, brother, it's an accident. No, it wasn't no an accident, he just trying to do that on purpose. Like, brother, what the heck? Yeah. I've, you've been doing this. I remember three years ago, you bumped it to me. You just, you just jealous because I got the new Jordans and you don't see anyone to step on them. Like, I've like, always been jealous. I've like, always been jealous since you was kids. It's all come out. Yeah. You like, whoa. Yeah, make up some. Like, but I was on my phone. I wasn't even paying attention. I actually bumped into you. And then all of it just come out. Right. It's like, where the hell is this come from? Yeah. But you can't, you can't hold grudges, man. Hate your brother in your heart. Jealousy. You know, uh, envy. 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 Yeah. You understand? Just... Yeah. Anything, man. None of that stuff. Wanna wanna cause you some type of harm? Sometimes you might know a brother go off, but now you going up because you wanna do something for him. Or you wish evil upon him. You understand? Know he may not be ill in the right. He might have done something, you know, wrong or a sin, and you just hoping he die. <laughs> you're like, I hope he die for that. He's like, nah, nah, you going up, brother. Or I hope he lose his job. That's crazy. I hope, I hope uh you know, he going back to school. I hope he's not successful in that. You know, hope he, hope he fail, fail his exam. Because he just keeps stealing. But now you going on. So y'all are both just walking. You read my Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Yeah, you got, and you got to correct your brother, man. Correct them, rebuke them. And rebuke them now is going to be nice. You know what I'm saying? That's why you had to serve me, to know who you kind of dealing with. You got to know a brother, like, you know what, let me come at him with this, with this angle. Let me come at him this way. You understand? But you got to, at the end of the day, correction is correction. You know what I'm saying? Like you said before with the, uh, with the, uh, homo, with the homo, with the homo, let's go, who's over there, the sodomite, ain't no really an easy way to do it. You know, if you don't want to accept it, you're going to be offended. You know what I'm saying? It is, it is. You know, you still want to have mercy and compassion for you. Find a way. You understand that? But yeah, you got to correct your brother, man. Because he's still in sin, you too much allowing all this madness to continue. And not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Yeah, you don't want to avenge. Israel struggle with that. Black, so called blacks and Hispanics, they want to be gangs, they want to slide on, slide on, spin blocks, slide on the enemies, all that food, that's all grudges. And then they be inheriting grudges that it wasn't a part of. It, you know? so they they grudging against the people around the block, and you don't even know, you don't even know them. The video on that sloppy, uh, there's a brother stuff talking about the Crips, he said it all started over. Uh, not the Crips, but uh, beefing with Bloods, it all started over a girl. That, that's what he said. I mean, I, obviously, I'm not, not in the culture. I mean, I don't know how true that is. But it seemed like, like this how it started. That's crazy. I feel like that could be true. Might be some truth to that. You dealing with Jake's either money. women or, or money? Yeah, women or money. So it might be true. You understand? Now, you born in 2003, and you hate the Crips of a woman who who been passed away. Old enough to be a great grandmother. And then neither one of them got her. Neither one of them got her. They both did life in jail. She got with she got with a guy with a you know a good guy with his suit on. Put on for good man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still play each other over a woman. Yeah, yeah, you come in the words of the Lord. Two minutes. Come in the word of God. Two minutes. Two minutes.
Okay, you ain't gotta you be, be in okay. it. I mean, you ain't gonna be okay. This for y'all too. You believe in the Bible? The Bible is what's going on. Y'all believe in the Bible? Yeah. I'll pray for you. We are here to teach it. We are here to uh, teach the truth of the Holy Bible. You understand that? So we are, y'all know what the truth of the Bible is? What Bible is that? The Holy Bible. No, which one? King James Version. King James Version. Bring out Mark chapter, uh, who is it? Is that 4, 14? Mark chapter 4, verse 14. Bring it out. The sower sowed the word. And so we're sowing the word, y'all. Wait, right, keep reading. Right. And these are they by the wayside. Y'all, pay attention, pay attention. This, this, scripture, is, this scripture is real right now. The sower soweth the word. Right. And these are they by the wayside. So y'all by the wayside, read. Where the word is sown. The word is being sown to y'all. But when they have heard. Once you hear it. Satan. Cometh immediately. You got Satan from all angles. You know what I'm saying? You got this God who probably on drugs screaming at us. You got even your friends can't believe y'all standing here. Satan is gonna come and try to take away the word as soon as y'all try to hearken to the words of the Lord. As soon as you try to hearken to the words of the Lord, all hell just breaks you. It been calm until y'all came. As soon as y'all came and said, listen, all hell breaks you. Now people scream and say, so. So this is all big spiritual. That's why y'all gotta stay focused on the words of the Lord for the few minutes that we may have y'all up here. You understand that? So we are to teach y'all who y'all are according to the Bible. What are the Israelites? Y'all ever heard about the Israelites? I heard a little bit. You heard about it? Read Deuteronomy 706. The Israelites are the chosen people of God. God did not create everybody equal. God has a favorite people on the earth. And those are the Israelites. Let me show you. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse number 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. God chosen us, right? Read. To be a special people. Who have chosen to be special. Read. Unto himself, above all people. No, equal. Above, above all, all people. people. Above, above all, all people. people. That are upon the face of the earth. So we're above everybody else. We're the greatest people on the earth. We're the strongest people on the earth. That's right. We're the most beautiful people on the earth. The fastest people on the earth. We cook better than everybody else on the earth. We people that serve the Lord better than anybody else on the earth because we're the, chief, the chosen people of God. Now, how did the chosen people of God come all the way down to the bottom? How do we end up being, we're God's chosen people, and why are we in the ghetto, the slums, the projects, the hoods? Why are we screaming at the top of our lungs, asking for pennies? Why are the chosen people of God at the bottom? Why do you think? Well, we got the, the Bible got the answer. Right, give me uh, a. Like, like, like That's true. Black is a color. She was like black and white, not a color. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they're not. Uh, they're not real. A real race. Right, because you're not black. But your pants is black. Her dress is black. Her skin is brown. And this guy behind you is not white. Their skin is pink. So black. We look at the word black. <laughs> Why you look at the skin? I don't know. We look at the word black. <laughs> You look at the word black, it means void of life. It's void of light, it means evil, wickedness, you understand? Everything evil is black. When you go to a funeral, you wear black that represents death. A black cat crossed the path, a seven years bad luck. You want to rock? What else they say? That's not real. But they just say that. You know what I'm saying? They, uh, you know, you go rob somebody, you're not wearing pink when you go to a robbery. Stick up somebody. You wear all black. And when you're white, you're holy, we're going to a wedding, you know what I'm saying, something pure, that's what. So they want us to believe that we're just an evil, wicked, sinful, black people. And they're a nice, beautiful, kind, sweet-hearted white people. You understand that? So we got to take away those titles. So when you look at this guy here, you assume that, you know, he got a nice house, living in the suburbs, he, make, he got pension, he makes great money, nice family, two kids at the door. And when you look at us, not us, you know, black in general, you think we the project, ghetto, we poor, we're bones, we may rock. But we got a gun on us. You understand? So those are the white people and these are the black people. So we gotta take that away. You understand? And go by what God called us, which are we the issue. 
You understand? Like I said, the reason the Israelites are at the bottom is because the Israelites disobey God. You know what I'm saying? You have to This continues my answer. It's in the book of uh, Jer oh, you Jeremiah chapter 17, verse number 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So God said we have been discontinued, separated from our heritage. Black people don't have a heritage. We don't have a real culture. I'm not sure if y'all are aware of that. But our culture is chicken wings, rap music, Kendrick, Lamar, Drake Beat, and Faith, and Black and Mouth. Right, but we don't have a true culture. How do we supposed to dress? What are we supposed to eat? What God do we serve? That's all our culture. This one right here is just a culture. She dresses a certain way, there's certain things that the new person would never do. See, her house is in order. That's a culture. She know the role of the woman in the household. They know the, they know the role of the man in the household. We don't have that. So we're just going to talk. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. And this is a land that we didn't know of, but we're here serving our enemies discontinue from our heritage. Right, bring it's the book of Lamentations, chapter 5, and verse 16. The crown is falling from our head. Who wear crowns? What people wear crowns? Anybody wear crowns? Say what? Kings, queens, princes, princesses. Royal people wear crowns. We once wore a crown. The Lord said a crown has fallen from our head. Can you read it? Woe unto us that we have sinned. The, the, the crown, what do you think that means or represent when a crown falls from your head? It means you're no longer the king no more. You're no longer a princess or a queen. I mean, you failed. You was royalty, you was kings and, and, royal, and all this, this stuff, and now you're at the bottom. It says, woe to us when we have sinned. So because of sin, metaphorically speaking, and physically and literally, the crown has fallen from our heads. Now we're at the bottom. You understand? We're from King Solomon, King David, to King for the Pope. You understand? Because of sin. So we got to get back to uh, who we are. Get back to who we're supposed to be, which is the children of God. Y'all know that everybody's not a child of God? Do you think everybody, we think they're children of God? Let's see, get Romans 9 and 7. Everybody's not a child of God. It's the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 7. Bring it out. Neither, because they are the seed of Abraham. They say, just because you come from Abraham, which a lot of nations come from Abraham. You want right? Just because you come from Abraham, really, are, are they all children? They don't make me you a child of God because you come from Abraham. Really. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And the children of God will come through Isaac. Really. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. Right? These are not the children of God. So some people are not the children of God. Yeah, some people are children of the devil. Some people are children of Satan. You know what I'm saying? Some people are children of flesh. We are children of God. That's right. Give me Amos chapter 3. How do God treat disobedient? How do a father treat disobedient children? Do we let them do whatever they want? What do we do? He beat them. He beat them. Right there, Hebrews 12. Yeah, Hebrews 12. Yeah, beat them. How do, how do, if God is our father, how do, how will he beat us? He don't got a built. He's not coming off with a built, bending us over his lap and spanking us. How is he beating us? Punish us? Tell you something. It's the book of Hebrews. Would you look, look around you. This is, this is a disobedient children of God being beat. When you see them sticking on the floor, that's them getting their ass for. Do you see them out here on the table? That's them getting their ass for. And the project here, that's them getting their ass it's the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 6. Bring it up. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. He chastiseth. And, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, if you endure chastising, God dealeth with you as with sons. And you're like a child of God. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? No good father will, will, will refuse to chastise his son. Every good father will chastise his son. <laughs> it's the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken. 
hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? Us. That's right. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only. God have, says, Only y'all. Really? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. God said, Of all the families of the earth, He only know us. That means He don't know nobody. Else. Huh. He says, You only have I known. Can you read it? Therefore, I will punish you. Listen. Therefore, I will punish you. It says, Therefore, I will punish you. Read it. For all your iniquities. So God said because he only know us, he will only punish us. Y'all got children? You got, you got children? So oh, even when you work, when you work here, and your uh, parents tell you to be home by the time you like to and you out there hanging with Brittany and Day Day and whatever else, and they, look, they come outside and they see you in home, and your parents going to punish everybody on the street or only you? Only you. They don't know Day Day. They don't know Sequita. So God said, I ain't gonna let my mom go to the time to punish everybody, okay? <laughs> See, that, that probably, that's probably a good mama. Everybody got to get it. Yeah, that's a good mama. No mama ain't my favorite mama. Right. But typically, you only punish your child. You know what I'm saying? Because they were given an order. They were told to be on the flesh. You understand? So that's what God said. You only have I known. Therefore, I will punish you for all your sins. He don't know great. God don't know this guy. He don't know these people. They don't look punished to me. They're like they're going without whooping. Y'all don't know them. They can be home. They can be out past the street lights. Who cares about them? Let them get kidnapped. But two, you, you gotta be on um, street lights come on when you get home. So the street lights, metaphors of speaking, is the commandments of God. We gotta follow the commandments of God. Yeah, you not punished if you wear a hat. So you have to follow the commandments of God. If you go astray, then we'll continue to be punished. That's it, that's it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse number 5. Bring it out. O Assyrian. The Assyrian in the Bible represents the oppressor. The rod of mine anger. He said they're the rod of his anger. Like I said, God don't got a rod. He don't have a bill. He don't got a switch. But he used the oppressor as his rod. So the Lord's not going to, like I said, get off his throne, come to earth, grab you, and start whooping you. He's going to use other people to be done as a bill to punish you. You understand? He's going to use Donald Trump. He's going to use Joe Biden. He's going to use other people, the government, whoever else. So, right to me. And the staff in their hand is my indignation. So it's all you them. So he's punishing you and he's angry with you. So he uses other people to judge you. You understand that? So the reason why we're not at this high state is choking your God at the bottom. He's going to choke you or die a couple days. Y'all know any commandments? Get out. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So the Lord commands the women to adorn themselves in modest apparel. What is modest apparel? Yeah, what, 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 how do you dress modest? You cover your body up. That's right. You understand? The Lord don't want the children of God or the daughters of God dressed, you know, uh, promiscuous. You understand? Showing their behind on their breasts, things of that nature. As daughters of God, we are supposed to, you all are supposed to dress much. Yes, that and your the, the good things in your body and all those things like that, that is preserved for only one man, your husband. That's right? Correct. Not for the not that. Not for the world to see. <laughs> it was just right there. So I see. So I didn't even do it. The Lord had it manifest. I can't. 
Right, so the children, the daughters of God are supposed to dress themselves, adorn themselves in modest apparel. You understand? You get Proverbs. I'm so sorry. Are you sorry? I'm sorry. Seven. Come on, let's see. I heard you. Read the book of Proverbs, chapter Truth. seven, and verse number ten. Bring it up. Uh. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. So certain so women have a, the attire of an harlot. Who would be an example of attire of an harlot? You don't have you know. no clue. You know. yeah. What would a woman? What would a woman wear? What's she know? What's she know? So what, what should a woman, what would a woman be wearing when she's dressed like a harlot? You wouldn't be able to tell, yeah, harlot is a harlot. You wouldn't be able to Y'all got focus, y'all got focus. Y'all can't tell, y'all can't tell when a woman is dressed like a, a whore. Oh, I don't know what I was yeah, Harley's a whore. Yeah. What would she have on? Typical whore. What would she have on? Booty shorts, yeah. titties out. Exactly. So, Lord says, you got certain women who got the attire of a Harley. You don't want that attire of a Harley. You want that attire of a princess. Right, Jesus? And some of her, she is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Yeah, she outside. She outside, loud, running her mouth, dressed like a Harley. You don't want that one. You don't want to be. I mean, you don't want to be that one. Y'all know I'm sexy red, Maggie Stallion. Yeah, uh -huh. you don't be sexy red. Yeah. Oh my God. Why you scared? <laughs> uh, Cause it's like I feel like they spend most of the generation now. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, sexy, the, the generation is more sexy red than before. I'm sorry, y'all. I got you. All right, so take a class. Take y'all take a class. We are here every Saturday at 3 o'clock. What, what's your nationality? Israelites. Y'all are Israelites. Remember what mama said, you ain't black. Israelites. Yeah. They mind just... Kind of there, kind of... Easy distraction. Easy, they still, yeah, they still going through what friend? What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when she took off. Yeah, that's when she took off. Yeah, yeah. She tried to lead them away. She tried to yeah, yeah, take them away. Take them away. What be up with them like, yeah, like women like that and brothers like that? They just be like yeah. so against the situation. Yeah. The word of God. You would think they? Yeah, yeah like now when we, we smoking a blunt or something, saying hit this and when they came, they would have came over here, right? right? We doing something wicked, up. You know what I'm saying? And she the one that had the key. Yeah. The one that was there? No, the one that was over there, she had a key. Yeah. I don't know if that was hers or not, but she had a key in the show. That's crazy. So if it is her, you would think you should be the main one. You know? All Jay got to do is say something funny or like challenge you, just, you know, some folly or whatever. Yeah, yeah, make them laugh. Yeah, make make them laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
put a nice you don't gotta do that you know that you already a murderer man keep it and ye know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him right so meaning you don't got to get him out you don't got, you don't got uh, the holy spirit you don't got the uh, 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 everlasting life abiding in no wisdom uh, abiding in him you know hereby perceive we love of slack it Hereby perceive we love of God, we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us. Right. And we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Yeah, you got to lay your life down for your brother. The Lord laid his life down for you. You got to lay down your life for your brother. Right, the Lord did that because he loved you, so you got to be willing to do the same. Right. But whoso hath this world's good and seeth his brother have need and shut up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him. Yeah, you can't, you can't have not have compassion upon the people, not have compassion upon the brother, you know, not be merciful. I mean, the love of God, not in you. That's a hypocrite. If you hold a grudge, you're a hypocrite. If you're not compassionate, that's why uh, the Lord said to forgive your brothers 70 times seven. Because I only, I can, the Lord forgave us 70 times seven, but, you know what I'm saying? 70 times 7 times 7. So if, if, you, if you appreciate the Lord for forgiving you that many times, then you gotta uh, forgive your brother that many times. Right? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. In deed and in truth. Love in deed and not, not just Don't just speak about love. Don't say, yeah, I love you, brother. You know I love you. But you're never, you're never there for the brother. Yeah, no action behind it. No action behind it. You love your brother, your husband, your wife, your sister, you know what I'm saying? Whoever, you gotta have that action behind it. Back it up. Uh, and hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. 25 and 40. The book at Matthew, chapter 25 and verse 35. For I was in hunger, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Yeah, so Christ is letting him know you, you did all these great things for me, right? Uh, then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger and yeah. fed thee? So they kind of confused, like, what are you talking about? When have we ever seen you hungry and we fed you? When have we ever seen you without clothing and we had to put clothes on you? Right, dude. Or thirsty and gave thee drink. When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer. Yeah, and you may feel the same way. Like, yeah, I never, I never uh, fed Yahweh Shah, Jesus Christ. I never went to go visit Jesus Christ or true name in the paleo in the ancient Hebrew, Yahweh Shah. I never went to go visit Yahweh Shah in jail. I was kind of, kind of, I was locked up and I had a, you know, I was locked up and I had, a, I mean, Yahweh Shah was locked up and I went in to visit him. That never happened. When did I ever, when he was a stranger and he had a, for my guest room, you know, my couch. You might be asking me something. Here we And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. So how you treat your brother is how you were to the Yahweh Shah. There's no, no, I wouldn't have done it to Yahweh Shah. Yes, you would have. If you did it to your brother, you would have done it to Yahweh Shah. If you lied to your brother, you allow to y'all shop. You know what I'm saying? You are, uh, what they say, uh, backdoor your brother, you will backdoor y'all You will backdoor the Lord, man. You understand? If you will fight your brother, you will fight the Lord. Keep it. Then and, and, you are, and vice versa, if you will do, on the opposite end, if you will do good to your brother, if you lend you with a, a helping hand to your brother, you will be helping hand to the Lord. You understand? If you will, uh, you, if you will linger to your brother, you will lend to the Lord. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, 
into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was in hunger, and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. Naked, and you clothed me not. Sick and in prison, and you visit, visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee hung and hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, or did not minister unto thee? Then yeah, so they, so they kind of so they about to get thrown into the lake of fire. So they kind of like kind of sure. they kind of sure, like we well, we didn't do that. They, they, they probably think he'd be banned for the witness. They trying to clear their name. Like no, you got the wrong one. We we didn't do that to you. Right? Can you then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye did it not to, to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into a life eternal. That's Shalom. Shalom. Right, good. 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 Good.